Good evening, all. I wrap scene, and here we are with your metal market wrap up. And this wrap up is coming to you at 6:55 p.m. Central Time, and this is Thursday, the 16th of March, 2023. I'm worn out. I don't know about you. I know about me. I'm worn out. I've been getting up three in the morning, watching the crazy swings, uh, Europe, their banking system. Everybody got a reprieve today. Uh, uh, Credit Suisse got $54 billion. $30 billion went into First Republic in America. So there are bailout programs happening left and right. Will that be enough to calm the markets down? You know that Ms. Lagarde, the European Central Bank president, came out today and went with her 50 basis point hike. She did make a pivot. And the pivot was, she says, now they are fully data dependent. So I believe she pulled back on, remember she said she was going to do 50, 250 basis point hikes. We have one in place now. She kept her word. Now she's got the freedom to do, I hope, just the data letting it say what's going on. But other than the banking system, which definitely got uh, annihilated in, in many ways, Employment is powerful. Did you see the unemployment claims? They're falling. They're going the complete wrong way, and the continuing claims are falling. Then if you took a look, with the interest rates that have gotten smashed just recently, I would call going down upwards of a point and a quarter in a two-year note or so, really getting smashed in no time at all. Are you looking at what mortgages are doing? And did you see housing starts and building permits? They exploded to the upside. So the markets, this economy is not as weak as people would like to think. It is resilient. There are still pockets that want to go, and you've got to take that in stride. As for the central banks, I am in the camp. After all I've seen, that unless another shoe drops, in other words, another U.S. bank problem shows up and things quiet down between now and next Wednesday, the Fed is going to go with 25 basis points. We'll see if I'm right or wrong. When you look at the gold market, it continues to come up here and it's fighting an old high that it had right into that area. As we see here, you've got a consolidation pattern now. Some call it a distribution pattern, a consolidation pattern. You had an outside day up, a big one. You stayed within that range, and so far you're staying within the range right now. Remember I told you, you've got to learn how to work with outside days. They're very, very important. They're a tip-off for market action. Take my course. It's on the website under education. In the gold, and I'm saying with April gold, just temporarily, I'm going to be switching over to June very shortly now. Higher lows, higher highs. Look for me to maybe make the switch over the weekend. Market staying over all key moving averages. That's bullish as can be. It's riding. The word is riding. Present tense. Keeps hitting every day the upper Bollinger Band. That's called the Gorilla Glue Trade. I call it that because for most of us, other than the new Flex Seal glue, which apparently one dot you can pick up a car. <laughs> Laughing. You know, this stuff makes, how come when I buy it, it doesn't do that? But uh, when, when I look at this and I say, okay, it has gotten itself, it has latched onto that band, and that is bullish, not bearish, but it has to make the market embed. If it doesn't embed with the blue and the red line getting over and staying over the number 80, for several days or more, it's a market that is powerful, but it's going to pull back a little bit uh, on the charts. That's often what happens. We have to see which way it goes. As for the gold-silver ratio, it certainly climbed all the way up here, and suddenly it has stalled. It's not going up. It's not going down. Could this be where silver starts coming into its own is the question. Don't know. What I do know is the trend is up. The market hit all the objectives my work would have, which would be the 100-day average in the Bollinger Band. And now the support waits for the market at the combination of the 200-day average in the 18, 21.25 to 21.15, let's call it. That is where the support in the market is. It is overbought, though. Overbought doesn't, for me, attract new money being deployed to it. In copper, 
short covering, but not getting away from that oversold area. Again, the market came down fighting a battle at the 100 day average in the lower Bollinger Band. Trend is still down in the market. I can see pops coming, but nothing bullish on this chart whatsoever. In the platinum market, like I just mentioned in the uh, silver, if it wants to pull back, it has the combination of the 200 day average and the 18 here, and it hit all its targets on the upside. So I'm worn out because charts have gone where they should. It's hard to find new positions. And because the swings are so wide, the dollar risk in the trades temporarily are insane. I walk away from markets like that. I always do. I'm still here. I've got friends that try to be heroes. They're doing other things in life. They're no longer in this business. Lower and low, higher high. You can see how the market's just hanging in there. Okay, no trend to speak of in the Palladium. And in the dollar, uh, I, that may have been all she wrote. It's had the events where you'd run to the dollar. It can't get over all those averages. It hasn't thrown out a sell signal, but as a trader, you're in major resistance. If the dollar wants to put on an area to fail from, you're at it. Has it done it? No. If it closes over these two averages, you gotta stay bullish then. Until that occurs, no. I'd say that the pros came out of longs up there and now they're just watching. You know, one of the things I'm gonna ask of you, if you like what I do here, do me a favor, give us what? A thumbs up. That helps us on the, the readings with all the algorithms. And I'd like you to join me in the morning when I'm gonna cover this and I'm gonna cover next uh, looking at the futures markets, and I'll give that review in a moment. And you can do this if you haven't tried it before by simply following my finger, go up here, give it a click, it'll be free offers, sign up for my free offers, away you go. You'll get your user ID and your password, and I'll see you in the morning. I'm I Rapstein. have a good evening.